So Milo Yiannopoulos has been trying to remain relevant, and his strategy for doing that is, what if I tell the evangelical, religious, fundamentalist, far-right that they're right about everything, and being gay is a sin, homosexuality is a sin, and now I'm ex-gay. So he's found this new lane, he's found a new um, group of marks who he thinks, you know, he can get one over on and become a hero in their circles. And so, um, he went on this, now this is Rick Wiles' show, or his network, I believe. Rick Wiles is the guy, hardcore televangelist. He was an, um, sort of like a COVID truther, thinks it's God's punishment. He, uh, was an anti-vaxxer, and he's in the hospital now with COVID, by the way. So this is Milo Yiannopoulos going on that show, and, um, look at what he says about what has happened since he became ex-gay. When I made my announcement, the first thing that happened which will make you laugh, but it's true, is dogs stopped barking at me. I am one of those people. You know, everyone's got that friend that dogs always go nuts around. You're familiar with this, right? You've you got pets? Yes. Yeah. Right. There's always somebody that no, dogs... My, my dog doesn't bark at you. I, I keep my dog in the... Me, but hey, crazy. Don't bark at you, but that's okay. Uh, he like uh, he barks, yeah, he so, barks so, at people. You must have some work left to do. Um, but he didn't <laughs> bark at my That is true. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I was always one of those... I know this sounds so stupid, but... This is just how I think that God reveals himself to us, right? This is, this is just my experience of it. I was somebody who invariably, without exception, always used to make dogs go crazy. So we have a friend who's a political candidate down here, right? And her campaign manager has two of these little yappy dogs. And they would not stop. I couldn't be in her house for more than 20 minutes because it would drive everybody crazy. Um, even growing up, we had Alsatians, we had Black Labradors. Um, they just didn't like me at all. The dogs don't bark at me anymore, and it happened almost overnight. Dogs don't bark at me anymore, and it happened overnight. Man, he is scraping the bottom of the barrel, trying to stay in that public eye. He really is. Dogs don't bark at me anymore. So what's the argument? The argument is that when you're gay, it's a sin and you shouldn't be doing it. And that's why dogs bark at you a lot when you're gay because they know you're bad and wrong and doing something wrong. And so that's their way of expressing disapproval. That's their way of saying there's something off with the vibe in the air because you're here. Maybe it's your gayness. And he's saying, hey, since I became ex-gay, dogs don't bark at me anymore. So obviously my, my vibe and my feng shui is on point now because I'm at peace with myself. Hilarious! The idea that somebody who is repressing their sexuality as hard as humanly possible, like, I'm, I'm good, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm cool. I'm not horny 24-7 and can't stop thinking about the stuff that I'm into and incapable of focusing on normal things because my mind always wanders and angry and have a short fuse because I'm not taking care of a very basic need of mine. I'm good. I'm good, bro. I'm good. Which, I mean, obviously it gets into the broader conversation that we've had a few times in regards to Milo, but, you know, is it that he's lying, he knows he's lying, he's completely full of shit, every night he goes home, he blows his husband, his husband blows him, they have a little <laughs> and then everything's cool, um, or is he actually like, I'm leaving my husband, I've left my husband, and I'm actively fighting back the urges I have. <laughs> I honestly don't know which it is. I mean, if I had to guess, I'd say scam. I'd say, you know, every day he's slobbing on some knobs. I mean, that's what I, I would guess that. I would guess that because that's... I mean, honestly, I, I don't know what's worse. What do you think is worse? What is worse? Is it worse to just be total scam... Or is it worse for him to, like, actually be trying to live this insane life? Because I've told you guys before, when he threw his wedding ring into the ocean, which I'm, I called bullshit on, um, trying to be ex-gay is like, you think of you personally, whoever's watching this, think of what you're into, and then just think of trying to force yourself to not be into whatever you're into. How's that going to work out? Can you force of will yourself out of like the your very being? You know what I mean? Like you can't 
In the same way, you can't, like, force yourself... If you're a natural introvert or a natural extrovert, you're not going to force a will yourself out of what you are. You know what I mean? If you get more energy from being alone, you're always going to get more energy from being alone. If you get more energy when you're around people, you're always going to get more energy when you're around people. It's sort of like the definition of an extrovert or an introvert. You can't just will yourself out of it. You could try to pretend to be one or the other, but inside you're going to know you're going to be draining yourself when you're with people if you're an introvert, and vice versa. If you're an extrovert... So it's like the same, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You're just going to, for the rest of your life, you're going to pretend like you're not into what you're into? You think that's going to be a happy life? Imagine how miserable not only Milo is, but the people he's talking to who are pretending like what he's doing is a real thing. There is no such thing as ex-gay therapy. That doesn't exist. There's, it just doesn't exist. I mean, maybe there is, remember when they came, I think it was, uh, was it cornflakes? Kellogg's cornflakes? Somebody invented, I think it was that, but it might be oatmeal, I don't know, um, where... They made the food so bland on purpose, and the person's goal in doing it was to try to repress their own sex drive. I'm not kidding. Somebody, I guess this person was horny all the time, and they didn't like it. It was getting in the way of doing other stuff, and they were like, I gotta find a way to repress my sex drive, my libido, and so they came up with some very bland food, hoping it would, like, reduce sex drive. I mean, obviously it didn't work, but, like, that's the territory that we're in now with this. You know, like, m maybe there's a way to... Doctors can come up with something that reduces libido massively. I don't know. But even if you reduce libido massively, you're still going to be into what you're into. Just maybe not as often are you going to be thinking about it. You know what I mean? So anyway, what a weird conversation that we're having in regards to Milo. But Jesus Christ, man. If he's trying to live it, it's the super sad. And uh, he's torturing himself. And if he's scamming, that's also just super sad and pathetic. And, you know, the thing is... I don't think anybody's buying it anymore. You know what I mean? Like, yes, maybe the most hardcore Rick Wiles fans are like, oh, it's a good man here trying to stand up for the Lord. But I think everybody else, even other flavors and varieties of right-wingers are looking at him like, really, dude? Really? Really? What are you doing? What are you up to? So anyway, what a phenomenal fall from grace. Remember what happened with him at CPAC a few years back? There was video that came out where he was basically like, yeah, I was molested as a child and it was awesome. Like, he said something like that, uh, and he was, like, defending uh, the whole thing of child molestation, where he's like, listen, you build a bond with the person, and it's not the worst thing in the world, and you'll be fine. What? I'm paraphrasing it, and I'm butchering it in a thousand ways, but even CPAC, the people who were like, we're against cancel culture, they were like, canceled. And so ever since then, it's been a, you know, long slide downward into irrelevance, and now here he is, pretending to not like dick anymore. Good luck with that.